Yo, 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 big kiss back up in this thing. I want to get some clarity on when Orlando Brown was saying that 50 Tyson is, I mean, Kevin Hart is 50 Tyson. Let's just get into it right quick, y'all. We about to uh, see some explaining going on right quick. Four or five times every mm -hmm. time, man. Uh, so, and bro, just start talking about, man, 50 Tyson is the new. Kevin Hart, but, but pretty basically he tried to say I'm the real Kevin Hart. Said if any Tyson don't deserve this, what well, he tried to matter it's like what I was going through in my past and stuff like that. And you know, I get where he coming from when he brought up Kevin Hart. At the end of the day, Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? He gave me flowers when he showed me love. This takes us back back in August 8th, 2010, you know, mm -hmm. when he first did the video about me. It's 50 Tyson. Heck it. You might catch me in blue and red every day, all day. 50 Tyson is the real Kevin Hart. Um, I'm sure you've seen the clip, watched the clip yeah. a, a bunch of times. I yeah, had um, to see it like at least three or four or five times mm -hmm. every time, man. Uh, so, and bro, just start talking about, man, 50 Tyson is the new Kevin Hart. But, but pretty basically, he tried to say I'm the real Kevin Hart. Say if any Tyson don't deserve this, what well, he tried to matter is like what I was going through in my past and stuff like that. And you know, I get where he coming from when he brought up Kevin Hart. At the end of the day, Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? He gave me flowers when he showed me love. This takes us back back in August 8th, 2010, you know, mm -hmm. when he first did the video about me. It's 50 Tyson. Heck it. You might catch me in blue and red every day, all day. So Kevin Hart was acting like 50 Tyson. I guess he got some fame or whatever off of it. So let's go to Orlando Brown. Dude, you like you'll never be no man, that's not cool, man. You know, you you can't you got you got dirty money, you got Faith Evans, Biggie Smalls, you got so oh, much stuff coming enough. from that umbrella, man. You know, and some yeah. people post well, I thought we would, you know, get right into go. the biggest thing going on right now, man. And that is Cat Williams uh, shook the internet, man. Uh, he did this interview with Shannon Sharp, and uh, he said a lot of stuff, man. You know, what was your initial reaction to the interview? Like I told one of my best friends that brought me over here, uh, Millie, uh, my best friend and producer, it's like, what was done mm -hmm. to Cat to make him do that? There's a lot of people that have no respect for the game of comedy. And there's a lot of people that, now, what, before I go deeper, I will say that I don't, I, I, it's none of my business, the personal relationships and all the stuff that I was talking about. So I'm not gonna talk about that, but I will talk about what I've experienced. And what I've experienced is sitting in front of Cat Williams at his own house, $3 million mansion in Malibu. And this man told Tory Hart exactly what Kevin Hart did mm. in order to be where he's at. Now, I don't know if it was... So Kevin Hart would do any damn thing for fame. Sounds familiar? Steve Harvey. But check it out. Like I said, this 2024, y'all, truth is about to, like, people want truth. So these guys, this is why these guys is being exposed like this. Because truth is coming up. It's Kevin that pissed him off. I don't know who it was that pissed him off. But I do understand that uh, the comedy world is nothing to play with. And since, you know, Richard Pryor left us, God rest his soul, it's more like, you know, everybody's trying to be Richard Pryor. You know, and, and I can't put myself in position to not understand why some people just don't have the, the kind of respect for Cat that they should have. Um, I will also say that a lot of people know that he knows that he's helped them in a major way. Huge ways. Silently. For no recognition or none of that. It's just being you know, who he is as a person. And and uh, when I sat in front of him with Tory Hart that night, uh, when, Rankin, when Reno Rankin was still alive, it was more like... Hey, y'all see how civilized he's talking right now? That goes to show you. Everybody that be saying that he on meth, I be joking and saying that he on drop, but I know, I know the real deal. Everybody that be saying that he on meth, just check out his vernacular and how he uh, relays himself right now. Check him out. Kevin been pissing off a lot of people, you know, comedically. You know what I'm saying? And and I think that 
instead of trying to bash somebody that knows what they're talking about and bash somebody that has respect in the comedy, the, the, the comedy world, I think that they need to look deeper into why is he letting this information go? Why is mm. this information just now being released? Why, I mean, come on, he's, why does his chain look bigger than any rapper's that I've ever seen rap? Yeah, I heard what he said. Kevin Hart, wait, Kevin Hart is like, bro, this dude would do anything, bro. He would do anything. And you gotta, you gotta understand why everybody pissed off at him. He did some, bro, just like Steve Harvey. These guys is being exposed, y'all. Why, out of all the comedians, does he still have a $3 million mansion in Malibu? Mm. Why, out of every single comedian, does he still get, get, get picked on, it, but, but still looks like he's getting a check for nothing just to sit on his couch and everybody else look like, you know, they're has-beens. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, I did agree with a couple of things that was said by Ari Spears. I understand, you know, we do love drama as a nation, as a population of people, the human race, whatever the case may be, blase, blase, yes, yes, yes. But my main thing is, why are you saying this and then at the end of your rant, you sound like you're kind of jealous and you're kind of mad. You sound like you got some things going on that you don't want people to know about. It's skeletons in your closet. Skeletons in Cedric's closet. It's skeletons in Jamie's closet. Skeletons. skeletons in everybody's closet that Cat knows about. Who pissed them off? That's none, And don't just think. That's my question to you. Who pissed them off? Who do you think pissed them off? Well, it, it would seem as if a lot of people pissed them off. No, it was only one person, and they have a clan of people behind them. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. It was Kevin. So at the uh, end of the day, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. And, 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 and it's like, you know, Kevin doesn't wanna be a dinosaur. He's really a velociraptor. And, and, and you know, some people are actually T-Rexes. And we have a system to break in this universe. Now, if I keep going with this posting that everyone's privy to, it's gonna unlock certain systems in the universe that prove that- Bro, a lot of people is bigger than Kevin Hart. But being as though that Kevin Hart is with the powers that be, he looks like he's bigger than everybody else, but he's really not. It's all about who controls the media. But really, Cat Williams is that guy, bro. Cat Williams is that guy that's really doing numbers. We think Kevin Hart, being as though that he's in these movies and he's he's really that big, he's not big for real, bro. It just it's it's because it, we keep seeing him. We keep seeing him because he's with the motherfuckers behind the closet. It, 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 who controls the media? Cat Williams don't fuck with the people who control the media. Cat Williams getting that bag by himself, bro, and he really getting the bag for real, for real. That's why we don't see him. That's why we don't see Cat Williams like, like, like in move like crazy big ass movies and all. He ain't cool with these motherfuckers. The dinosaurs are actually not extinct. That's what Cat knows. He knows the inner workings of how people turned into huge comedians. And I guess, you he know. He says Kevin, Kevin is an off. industry plant. No, nah, man. I mean, you know, um, Kevin is a dinosaur. And I, I, <laughs> and, I, and I can't, you know, I'm not going to go back and forth with you. You know, he's Frankie Lyman. And, you know, ooh, ah, ooh, mm. ah, ooh, ah, why do birds sing so gay? You know, that. Okay. <laughs> hey, y'all break that one down. Somebody break that down in the comments. What he mean by Kevin Hart is Frankie Lyman. Y'all break that down for him. <laughs> well, I think some of the biggest uh, <laughs> news from this interview was when he said he turned down 50 million four times no, he didn't. to protect his integrity no, he and his virgin hole. No, he didn't. He did that. He did that to say that Kevin Hart took 50 million to unversion his hole. Mm. Can you explain a little bit? No, I just told you what it happened. It need to be explained. So, so you don't believe Cat 
when he says that he turned down fifty million for no, I believe that was a, a a punch at what he did, what Kevin Hart did for that movie Get Hard. Hey, that's hey, look, that's where Orlando Brown be getting the metaphors and shit from. He get that shit from Cat Williams, bro. Y'all gotta check it out, man. He showed real. y'all what he did. He sucked <laughs> Will Ferrell's kids to get hard. See? Oh. Now he's high, now he's acting all hard. <laughs> Damn. Every picture he's just Bro, that whole fucking it's a parable. It's a it's a it's a metaphor. It's an allegory. What they talking about. They speaking in, in, in allegories, bro. Short Oh, uh, he wasn't ready. <laughs> all that. You got same check thing, it out, man. You know, it, I don't put myself in any kind of position to think that somebody is good when they have four people writing their jokes. Kevin Hart has a... T y'all go check it out for yourselves, bro. This is not an interview that you, you could just watch one time and you just got all of the meat off the bones. Pause. Bro, you got to keep on watching this interview. Like, it's parables and and allegories that they talk. They talk in the metaphors and shit like that, bro. But, yeah, Big Kish signing out. I just wanted to... Get y'all some, some uh I just wanted to get y'all some more more on that uh fifty Tyson shit, bro. Fifty Tyson somebody got an interview with him. I'm gonna go check it out and uh see what's going on. But yeah, big kids signing out, I'm gone. Y'all gotta go.